All right, quick review of this uh, Dodo Cool um, keyboard kind of adapter case thingy for your iPad. Had this for about two weeks now, and I am absolutely loving it. I got it for my wife's iPad, and we have a few laptops, but I really like the small form factor of the iPad and its capabilities. We have a few apps on there that I like um, that I can't get for my um, laptop. So right off the top, it came um, in this bag. There's a little um, deodorizer, do not activated carbon thing in there to keep it dry. So it came in that bag, um, in this box, pretty basic. I'm not doing an unboxing. This is kind of like a pizza box with a picture on the front. Um, this specifically designed for the 9.7 inch iPad, uh, which we have. So the working voltage, 3.3 volts. Um, working current is 1.2 milliamps. And of course, compatible with a 9.7 inch iPad. So that's it. There was a foam retainer in the place where the iPads to go. You just pull that out and don't use it. So that's great. Let's get right to the meat of it. Um, it's actually kind of backwards right now. I'll flip it around. And this is the way that it opens up. So you open it up and bam, you can see right away that your um, screen is attached. And I don't have it hooked up right now. You have to undo this little wire, and that's the lightning adapter. And that plugs into the base through the little hole provided. And you can see that that comes off quite easily there. Um, so that's pretty pretty uh, loose on there. It, it goes in with magnets. You can kind of see that click into place. Um, so that's basically all that holds it. Let me zoom back just a little bit more. So that's basically what holds it is this strip right here has a magnet and that attaches to the metal edge of your iPad which sits in there like that. Um, this piece back here expands out like that and then you also drop that into play into place so that it keeps it from pushing down. So in that case it does sit nicely like that, kind of as a, a laptop would, sort of in that position. So from that standpoint, it's pretty good. Um, let me cover my password and go on inside, and you can see how it works. So there's no mouse pad here per se. You still have full use of your um, touch screen, which is great. Um, if I go into notes, create a new note for you. Um, so when you're in notes, you can see that you can type freely there. Or you can hit uh, keyboard, where is it? Keyboard down here, and it brings up your typing keyboard here. So you can use this and this at the same time if you're, I don't know, some sort of organ player or something. Um, shortcut keys all work for Mac, so Command A is to select all, backspace gets rid of it. Um, so there are, you know, the usual features that you'd have with a Mac keyboard are also included in this. Um, the keyboard sizing, I have pretty big mitts, I would say, and it's it's okay. It's the minimum size I would like to type on. Um, I can type quite well with this. Um, I'll just type that. Uh, I can type quite well with this. So it's not too bad. The keys are small. The placement of the keys are small, but if you have smaller hands than this, um, you'll be just fine. I can do it and it works okay. It's, it's, it's a nice compact size um, for transport is what I like. So, that's that. Let's go back up to our main screen here. What else to tell you about this little gem? Um, there is a place on top here that I don't know if you use a stylus, something like this, that you can use on your screen. This one's not turned on, but use a stylus on your screen. You can plop it in there and it's held nicely in place with your keyboard. So that's a good feature as well. It does not come with a stylus. I bought that separately. What else to tell you? Let's see. I think that's about it. Let's go over some quick uh, weights and measures. The other thing to note is that all the buttons are accessible as is the camera in the back. So um, when you go to camera, which you can quickly access from your top keys, where is it? It did. So there it is, right there. So you hit that and it goes right to your camera. Oh no, that's a screenshot, sorry. That's a screenshot of whatever you have. So I just took a screenshot of our of our desktop there, which is pretty neat. Um, we'll get rid of that. Too much time on the Android devices. I don't know how to get rid of it. Backspace. Click on my screen. Exit. 
Anyway, that'll disappear in a minute. There it goes. So let's take out the iPad now and go over some weights and measures of this thing. There is an on-off button here that you can utilize or you can just press through the case and use it up here. What I'll do is I'll turn it off, unplug it, drop this back in here, which you should do each time that you close it when you're transporting because otherwise the cord will stick out here. Um, there's a little loop there that could get caught in something. And then you have to click that shut and you're good to go. The only downside I see so far is that the magnetic attachment, when you open it, if you open it gently, it's fine. It does kind of hold itself shut, but when you open it, sometimes it falls right off. So you have to be kind of cognizant of that and open it gingerly. Sometimes that's fun. But when it's together, it seems to hold fairly well. Um, you can see it does, it does pull apart a little bit there. Um, so that, that maybe could be worked upon. Maybe they could use stronger magnets in there to hold that together. I'm not really sure. But let's go over, we can do measurements first since we have it sitting here. So in inches, um, let's make some room at the bottom so I can put the centimeters. That's about nine and three quarters inches this way by approximately seven and a quarter inches this way. Um, and as far as a depth, just quickly we'll see, that's about one inch in depth, okay? So one inch deep. Let's take the iPad itself out of the case. You'll see how easy it is to remove. That's quite simple. Just basically pry it off the corners and it's gone. Um, there you go. So let's weigh this thing all by itself without the stylus or without the iPad in there. And so we're looking at a grand total of 557 grams for this little guy. So it's, it's not light, I will say, especially with the iPad in there. With the iPad, um, you're looking at a total of n nearly a thousand grams, 994 grams. So that package together is not light. Um, but, I mean, it's not designed to be light, I don't think. So, just quickly before we go, I've got uh, the instruction manual for this thing, which is fairly straightforward. I, to be honest, haven't even opened this thing up. I just did it the first time, just looking at it. But it shows the features of it, um, goes through quickly how to use it. Uh, oh, and there's your shortcut buttons. That would be an important page right there, actually. Um, I will go over this up and down, volume, etc. all these little shortcut keys because that is important um, when you're using this thing. So on this side we have English and French and on this side we have abbreviated versions in um, German, Spanish, Italian, Japanese and Chinese. So there you go, fairly complete instruction manual for what you need for this. Um, there's also a Dodo Cool warranty registration card it's important to, work, to register your product so that if something goes wrong you can get um, some support there. So it's a 30 day money back guarantee for any reason, 18 month warranty for quality related issues, and then a lifetime of technical support. There you go. You can use this separately as well of course. You could use this simply on its own like this. It would stand up and you'd have a either a surface to type on or it would sit like that and you could watch a movie. So that's another perhaps feature of this. But all in all, I'm fairly impressed with it. It has good rubber bumpers all around the outside um, with the exception, of course, on the back, back there. But the corners is where you're going to drop it and shatter your screen. So it seems to have decent protection there. It's fairly stiff, this thing. This is made of a hard plastic, whereas the outer ring is made up of a kind of a stiff rubber. Um, Dodo Cool does some good products. I'm pretty impressed with most of their things so far. Um, I can't really complain about that. So, yeah, I think all in all, we're looking at a pretty good product here in the Dodo Cool uh, iPad case. So if you're looking for something of this nature, um, you know, we family of four, we can recommend this one. We'll give it two thumbs up. Thanks for watching.